Well, Mr. Prakash Luya joins us for a quick chat. Mr. Luya, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the state of Uttar Pradesh is, is a very land, the land with very fertile land, good for food, food processing and agriculture both, and has very significant amount of crops. So, what do you think is the future when it comes to uh, food processing in the state, sir? It, uh, I, I shared my views taking potato into account, right? right? And I think it is applicable for many other uh, food uh, agricultural items also. It is, uh, it, it is blessed with one of the best agroclimate and the soil. But only thing is we all have to join together to make it happen, right? Right from the seed to the uh, value-added uh, food products, all. Right. Uh, I understand uh, when you talk about when the entire industry has to come together and work together. Uh, for that, and for that, there are a lot of issues when it comes to the weather issues, when it comes to rains, uh, pesticide issues, and chemicals issues. How would you classify that with the government support for the crops, sir? Uh, what do you think the government should handhold the industry in as far as the crop production goes, sir? I think uh, government can act as a catalyst, but industry should not look too much with a begging ball for the government's support, right? Yes. Industry is best equipped with understanding and knowledge. What government can do is see the framework of legal system and others because there are some local or socio-economic political issues. There the government should come and help. But uh, I think it, the, the, things are becoming better now. We have a very good experience. I, I mentioned it. We are working with more than 400 farmers. So if we, one can work in a transparent way and a little bit of control on the greed, right? Because this is one area where one has to have a long-term view. We should no immediate uh, benefits, no. Sir, I was also speaking to the cellular and manufacturing associations as well. Uh, they were also mentioning the same thing that the industry should not solely rely on the PLI schemes and the further hand holding. So, do you think why does the industry is so like acting act in a greedy manner when it comes to uh, hand holding support? Do you think uh, the intention of investing less is the mo motive behind it? Let us not blame only industry. Sure. This is we as a nation, as a, our own character, we have to improve. You know, sure. when we look at uh, say a country like Japan and others, so all of us have to join hand. Farmers, we, the institutions, the government, right? But the I see a very good change, a positive change, and most important thing. Why UP will be gaining now? For any business industry, what you require is a stable, peaceful atmosphere. Right, that attracts people. Right. Last question, sir. Uh, how? Uh, what? What's up about your company right now with respect to uh, potato uh, growing and manuf crop manufacturing? Uh, how much are you investing in the state and overall uh, tie-ups with the industry, sir? It's uh, uh, more uh, important is your commitment than the money which you are spending, right? Money automatically comes in. We have a very ambitious project. We are thinking for next five years, we have made 40% growth year to year. 40% growth only in the state of Uttar Pradesh? Only in it. Right, so last question before I let you go. Uh, the union budget spoke about uh, farming and agroforest as well. Uh, what do you think that the government, the central government should play as a role in giving out more suitable policies for this sector? Yes, Com that is the main area of the government, right? The policy area. And I see a good move there. Today I saw the food processing and the, this policy which the UP government also has come out. And one good thing in UP we see is they are taking full advantage of the central's portions. That's but, a very matured way. Manage, but how does the farmer manage bad rains, bad environment? Things which are not in his control, sir. No. Farmer had been managing it for for centuries and centuries. And it is not that every time it is bad. Right? Our own experience is there. Knowledge is coming in. Technology is coming in. We are able to take care of a lot of the such things. Mr. Lee, what about technology in farming? Uh, where do you see that going right now? How much big that industry is? And how much are you uh, venturing into technology, sir? Uh, we are... Uh, our success had been that we have brought in the industrial culture into the farming, right? Helping the farmers, I have mentioned it here, with, with small mechanizations, soil testing, uh, then right utilization of fertilizer, not unnecessarily depending on chemical, lot can be done, lot can be done. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.